What's up guys? Welcome back to D's Gaming. This is Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. Alright, so um, there is a way uh, you guys can actually download uh, free maps or, uh, or custom stories. Um, so uh, just click on the link below and uh, it's free to sign up. Um, it's just like any other game. Uh, but it's cool because it's kind of a different change. You know, it's different games within the same game. Um, so uh, thank you guys again for uh, ev everything. Um, I, uh, I try to upload it as much as I can um, here and there. And uh, So let's get to it. Now, I am playing this during the day, but with headphones on, so it's kind of scary, but still scary. <laughs> I mean, if you have headphones on, you get the real experience. If you don't, you're just... Yeah, so comparing this to Outlast, this is still gotta be one of the scariest games I've, I've ever played besides Outlast, though. Outlast is kind of more. a little bit more um, predictable. So to speak, but keeps you guessing. This, this is different though. Different type of horror, so to speak. Hang in there, man. hang in there. Nineteenth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this: I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not. This will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Thank you. 
to the kitchen floor, tears were bearing, beginning to swell in his eyes as he received the worst kicked in his stomach. Hazel remained inside, hidden in fear she too would be punished. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. It's more oil. Ah, here we go. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years, but my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal, Willem, House of Garrick. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, 
the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially down stairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. 
At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. That's a hint. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then.
Alright guys, I'm just out of time. Thank you again so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like me, leave a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video.